Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another movie reaction and commentary. Today, we're going to be hopping into Slumdog Millionaire for the very first time. I'm excited to hop into this one because simply, I've heard a lot about this film, but it's also one of those things where, again, I just never seen this. This is one of those secret films that I kind of either have seen or, I mean, honestly, it took the Patreon pool for me to kind of like realize that, oh, snap, yeah, this movie is sort of kind of like a big deal. And it's one of those things that I completely forgot about. So when I saw it on the uh, the Patreon poll, because we're doing like, you know, newer recommendations and all that, I was like, oh, snap, of course I put that on there. I completely forgot of its existence. And the interesting thing is that it's directed by Danny Boyle. Now, I'm not sure if maybe these are two different people that happen to have the same name, but I could have sworn that Danny Boyle also did, what was it, like 28 days later, if I'm not mistaken. I hope I'm not, otherwise this is gonna be really embarrassing. But like, he also did, 28 days later which if you go all the way back on this channel which one of my first uh one of the first videos uh, starting the commentary reactions and i you know spoke highly of that film i absolutely loved it but more so i love the direction of that film danny boyle is excellent in terms of getting emotion and raw emotion and you know grounding it in real realism and you know not exaggerating it so i'm really interested to see how he's able to kind of like you know construct that into this film uh which is entirely different but you know again if, if it's the danny Danny Boyle I'm thinking of then I know it's probably gonna be a really good film to just experience emotionally so like always guys I appreciate the support we are past 100k at the moment and that is really really awesome I'm working on doing a video for y'all as well um, just you know just I, a, a video just talking about like even just how this channel came to be in the first place um, but yeah I'm, I'm great I'm grateful it's like it's like the one way of me describing it but um yeah without further ado i'm gonna hop into this you guys know the drill if you want to be able to support me the best way to do it is through patreon you can also leave a like comment and subscribe and at the end of the day i just want you to sit back relax get your popcorn and snacks as we hop right into slumdog millionaire Again, guys, if you want to be able to watch and hear all that I have to say, check out the Patreon link below. There you can sync up your copy of the film with mine and literally watch and hear all I have to say. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. We only get those? We only get those options? Uh, I don't even remember what the options were. Wow, okay. First off, I'm loving the colors right now, but what is going on? <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ah, so Jamal. I love it. It seems like they're taking two different points of the story just to highlight maybe what this journey has for us. Because right now it looks crazy. All right, let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Yeah, I like that they're they're cutting the story, especially in the intro. Cause that almost seems like the end of the film. <laughs> but they're the way they're cutting it is is really interesting. I like it. Bum bandit and you. So why don't you save us both a lot of time? Are they trying to get him to, like, give him money when he's on the show? Like, what's happening here? Because he does not seem like the type of kid to be doing anything hard. Like, just even what he said there, too. Work. This is like some City of God type of vibe right here. <laughs> just really cool. I like how this is being shot. I mean, if there's anywhere to showcase the slums, it's definitely this. <laughs> it's definitely this. This is such a really cool way of showing it. But man, it's it's uh, it's crazy over here, man. It's crazy. Love that shot. Okay, <laughs> that's dope. Yeah, that's really cool. Almost. <laughs> if you guys ever played Dying Light. It feels like dying light. <laughs> Double check. <laughs>
he got up for that. <laughs> Oh, don't do it, man. Oh, don't do it. I Come on, man. You don't have to. Don't have to do it, man. Oh, he's going to do it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yo, shout out to that guy. What the heck? Homie ran out there covered in nothing but snickered. Snickers, man, and just signed it anyway. That's really dope. But please never again. That's so disgusting. These use of wide angles are freaking awesome. <laughs> they almost feel like surveillance cams. I, th I love how the questions seem to be incorporating themselves in this film, like just in his past. Good luck here, huh? If I would you ever take the money and run, you're not going to get the next one. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. He said, take the money and run. You're not going to get the next one. This is insane, man. Like, this looks terrible. <laughs> oh, my goodness. They're doing such a great job at showcasing just people are trying to survive. Like, this is different levels here. This is wild, man. <clears throat> This is a city of God, man. This is insane levels. They really just put hot chili peppers in this dude's crotch. <laughs> He's going to wake up thinking his thing is on fire. I'm <laughs> What the heck is this, man? Is this like a cult? What is going on here? Whoa. What the heck, man? What the heck? What? I don't... <laughs> Yo, what the heck is going on? I love that they're just showing us this, by the way, too. <laughs> I'm happy they're not telling us all that's happening. Mm. Man, it just, it, it's a hard watch, man. I just don't like seeing this happen to children, but I understand. I'm going to put myself through this because <laughs> it's, it's worth the story. But damn, it hurts to just even watch a reenactment. Shout out to these child actors, by the way, too. <laughs> damn. I'm so happy that his homie did that for him because I I just don't know what they were doing. Like, what the heck were they doing? <laughs> what the heck is his problem? What is his problem? What the heck is going? I don't understand this dude. I do not understand this guy. You're right. <laughs> I have to be drawing out that man because I'm already on the edge of my seat. Like what? <laughs> Yo, this film is littered with gorgeous frames right here. Love that some of it's on like a Dutch angle as well. Just slightly tilted.
<laughs> Yo, they are surviving. Absolute survival right here. Really interested how they just shot that part in particular. That was a really cool camera angle right there. Is this heaven? That was cool. That was cool. Okay, I see what they've done. That was cool. Damn, that was pretty awesome. Great transition. The guidebook was written by a bunch of lazy, good-for-nothing Indian beggars. Oh. oh. <laughs> oh man hey get your bread i ain't knocking that at all <laughs> that's funny <laughs> in uttar pradesh is wearing a kurta that has been at least washed once out here jali, jali. they finna strip this thing bare bruh oh my goodness you can't be caught lacking out there man you just can't. I mean, you shouldn't be caught lacking anywhere. You guys should know this. <laughs> but if you don't know, now you know. <laughs> Here it is. All right. Well, here is a bit of the real America, son. <laughs> oh, Jesus, Jesus. Here is the bit of the real American, son. Gives him cash. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That is hilarious. That's so funny. <laughs> Mm. American one hundred dollar bill. There's a portrait of which American statesman. I love that. That's haunting him, because I think it's him being a kid. Out of all the things that has happened to him, that would have definitely had have haunted him, because he liked her. You know, even when you're a kid, when you like somebody, you're just like infatuated. So I'm happy that that has manifested throughout his life, even though it's been chaotic. He hasn't forgotten. Guys, this is such a genius, just genius evolution from 20 days later. Like, I can still see similar aspects, again, if this is the same director. I can still see similar aspects, especially during the quieter moments when people are just walking, right? I think that's one of my favorite parts about 28 Days Later, too, was just him walking, especially at the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. Oh my god, dude. That's. Oh man. This is. <laughs> this is really great. I'm having I'm having a great time with this because this is such a visual experience. But man, some of the subject matter is you got to be ready for it. <laughs> I wasn't, <laughs> but that's perfectly fine. I'm happy about that. I'm so happy she recognized him first. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. <laughs> I can't take that risk, Maman. Sorry. Bruh. That was probably the smart thing to do. But also, oh my goodness, man. Oh my God. This guy is a teenager. He just blew this guy's head off. That was a giant tool, man. <laughs> Samuel called. Final answer. Final answer. This dude's knowing the answers just simply from experience. Oh, hey! Hey! Go on! Shut up! The man with the code 45 says shut up! Go mm, I was wondering when he was going to figure out what it was called. Wow. <laughs> there, that is... This is a genius. I love how they are doing the story. So, how did you manage to get on the show? <laughs> yeah, that is interesting. Because, <laughs> like, we haven't even gotten a bridge yet from how he's gotten on the show in the first place. 
God is good, bhai. I'm surprised he's not gonna sock this dude in the face. Ah! I'm assuming that's what he'd wish he'd done. <laughs> and that's what I would have done. <laughs> that used to be our slum. Can you believe that, huh? We used to this journey with just these two characters has been incredible. They could have just made a movie without the, you know, the, the, the award show. And it would have still been a great film, I think. It's even, you know, it's even better that we have this other element, though. I also got to say, I love that we're getting you know so much of the environment as well too it feels like we've we've kind of went door to door and different economic levels here too i mean the, the landscape itself is a story and i love how they're using that that's crazy <laughs> the fact that they found each other again is crazy. I wonder if he's going to get on the show just so he gets enough money to be with her. I wonder if that is the motivator. Latika! You finally get to connect with this shot. I've been waiting for it. I've been waiting for it. I'm happy to connect with this. What's about to happen now? Jamal, Jamal! Jamal, you better do something. You better get out there and do something, man. I don't care what you had, what you don't have. Figure it out, man. Go crazy. Go stupid. Man, don't let Bruno Mars take your girl again, man. Like, stop doing that. <laughs> Stop letting him just do that. You're gonna win this. Trust me, Jamal. You're gonna win. What the heck? I don't know how to how to interpret what he just said and how he said it is the reason for that. Because he clearly throughout this throughout this film, there's been moments that almost seem spiritual that has happened to him. This guy just dropped the answer for him. This guy gave him the answer. Are you serious? Well, scrub it out so that way they don't. Come on, man. Come on. But then again, I also don't know if he's lying. I don't know. Some space. Mm. Mm. Well, you're right about such a tenduka. Ah, man, I mean, this is crazy. This is crazy. I don't even like games like this. I hate trivia. Because <laughs> I get so involved. I'm trying my best not to. It's been hard. D. That's what I was going to do. I was going to say D because I don't trust him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ah! <laughs> I was too much of a wimp to say beforehand, though. <laughs> 197 first class centuries. The answer is. D. Jacobs! Whoop! <laughs> Yo, that was crazy, man. That was crazy. Why'd you try to trick him? Why'd you try to trick him then? I don't understand. <laughs> Went on the show. Because I thought she'd be watching. Wow. Wow. Damn. He went on the show because he thought she'd be watching just off of what she said. Wow. Does the game have that effect over there? You guys let me know. Not to say that it's anything new here. Uh, you know, it's just we, we have a lot of it over here. I just, you know, didn't know it had that much of an effect over there. It's like really interesting. Just drive. 
Man, it took you long enough, but Jesus, dude, you're still an a-hole. I can't believe you did all this for what? Because you are afraid to be alone? I don't understand. But it is interesting. I'm, I'm going back to when he was praying for all the bad things he's done. He is dealing with it. There is a moment. There are moments where he 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 has regrets. So I think it was just accumulating to this moment. <laughs> My man has shook the entire world, man. All for love, bro. I love that. <laughs> as cheesy as it is, I love it. <laughs> yes. I love how everyone, everywhere, no matter where they are, is watching this. In Alexander Dumas' book, the Three Musketeers. Oh, what was the name of the Third Musketeer? Oh, wow, because he didn't know. He doesn't know the Third Musketeer's name. This is? My name is Latika. Okay, Latika. You want to hear the question one more time? I know, he's giddy as hell. Oh, man, that's so good to hear. Uh, Latika, what do you think? I don't know. I mean, to him, it doesn't even matter. I think he's just happy that she's she's safe, man. Which is, I have to tell you, the right answer. That's wild. <laughs> wow. Wow. There's so much happening. There's so much happening. Wow, this is crazy, man. This is absolutely crazy. I really, really feel all the ties just connecting. Which is crazy because like, it feels like we were all over the damn place. Yeah, Danny Boyle is incredible with storytelling. Emotional storytelling, actually, as well. I think we said it at the beginning of this video, but I'm happy that it's it's here in, in its own element. Hey. Now, this time, hold on to her. All right, everybody, we just got done wrapping up Slumdog Millionaire. Uh, so, I mean, if for all of those wondering, I did check out to see the ending credits uh, of everybody dancing. If you want to see me dance a little bit, you could check it out on the Patreon. But, you know, there you go. <laughs> I'm not going to do that or put that on here because of copyright reasons. And also, who knows? It's kind of crazy. We get crazy over there. But, yeah, this was an awesome, awesome watch. Slumdog Millionaire, directed by Danny Boyle. Man, I'm, again, I really hope this is the same Danny Boyle. Because otherwise, this is going to be astronomical levels of cringe if it's someone else but i can't help but draw parallels to you know the film uh 28 days later and just the usage of document do i would say like documentary style cinematography where it follows the lines of filmmaking you know especially composition wise however the documentary style because it's so amateur like and it allows for a lot of free roam you know, the direction of it, it reflects that, you know, we're all over the place, but we always get the payoff to it. And I love that, that would, that continue to build and that continue to just, you know, uh, uh, climax over and over and over again to the final moment there. And I'm so happy that, you know, this film took me by surprise because, um, you know, I, I love things like that just in general. But I really am impressed by just the level of emotional uh, storytelling that is involved in this film. It's pretty, it's pretty incredible and it's very fitting for the name of this, you know. I, I'm happy that this wasn't 
this wasn't too much of the game. You know, we we got this guy's entire life and the game was just kind of like a pedestal to kind of like, you know, accumulate everything and to make reason or sense to everything. But I'm so happy that this entire film focused so much on our character and his journey because that's what really matters. And it's such a beautifully well shot film as well. My goodness, I kept making parallels to City of God. It really reminds me of that, not just because of the, the slum environment, but just how it was shot and how the narration was shot and how you know the cinematography reflected that as well. Um, you can find little bits of that in 28 Days Later too, but you know, I love I love that aspect. I love how everything just worked together and accumulated, but it didn't override the story. Um, him being on that show didn't override his journey that we went through. And that's a beautiful thing. Guys, let me know what your thoughts are on this. I would love to hear more in the comments below. And like always, guys, stay healthy and stay hydrated because we are just getting started. Purple jacket, pocket full of weed. Everything that I should ever need. Grab some matches cause they give them free. Just like my time. Hair pulled back in the backseat.